Imagine a flash of vapor trailing through your radar's blind spot. Except it's not an F-35 or an F-22. It's China's brand new J-35. Could this jet tear through America's air defenses and rewrite the rules of aerial supremacy? Today, we're cutting through the PR spin and simulated dogfight replays to bring you the hard numbers, real-world scenarios, and geostrategic stakes behind the J-35's debut. By the time you hit pause, you'll know what makes this fighter tick, where it still stumbles, and why every U.S. carrier strike group, Allied Air Force, and arms dealer is watching it closely. Let's dive in. On your screen now, you'll see three silhouettes side by side, each with a flurry of stats popping up over its wings. First, the F-22 Raptor. Radar cross-section as low as 0.0001 square meters and supercruise capability beyond Mach 1.5. Next, the F-35 Lightning II. RCS around 0.001 square meters. Multi-role payloads. Worldwide service in a dozen air arms. Finally, the J-35. Estimated RCS between 0.1 and 1 square meter. Twin-engine thrust hinting at Mach 1.8 and built-in data links for networked warfare. In the following sections, we'll unpack what those numbers mean and whether they add up to a genuine game-changer. Before we get technical, here's a quick taste of what's coming. Can the J-35 sneak past an S-band radar long enough to launch a beyond-visual-range missile at an F-35? How do its WS-19 engines stack up against Pratt and Whitney's supercruisers under sustained high-G turns? And on the strategic board, will the J-35 tip the balance in the Taiwan Strait or force AUKUS to rethink where it stations its F-35 squadrons? Stay tuned, because each question has a surprising answer. First, let's map out our deep dive. We'll dissect the J-35 stealth envelope, infrared signature, and electronic emissions against its American rivals. Then we'll peel back the cowling to compare propulsion performance, combat radius, and sustainment logistics. After that, We'll animate two critical scenarios, the Taiwan Strait and the South China Sea, showing how J-35s could integrate into China's A2-AD bubble and challenge U.S. power projection. We'll follow with a glance at global arms markets and alliance counters. And finally, we'll honestly assess the program's current limits and possible evolution through 2030. If you want to skip ahead, check the timestamps in the description, but don't miss the suspense at the end. We'll open the floor for your verdict. Terminator or Hype? To begin, let's talk stealth. The J-35 evolved from the FC-31 Jur Falcon demonstrator first flown in 2012. Shenyang's engineers smoothed out the angles, refined intake shapes, and swapped in China's WS-19 turbofans. Visuals from the Zhuhai Air Show in November 2024 confirm flush weapons bays, canted vertical stabilizers, and edge treatment measures. All hallmarks of a low observable design. Yet every carrier-capable modification, folding wings, reinforced struts, catapult attachment points, add stealth penalties. Experts estimate the J-35's frontal RCS at 0.1 to 1 square meter. For context, the F-35's RCS clocks in around 0.001 to 0.01 square meters, and the F-22's an astonishingly low 0.0001 to 0.001 square meters. That's orders of magnitude difference. In a head-on intercept, an F-22 could theoretically detect 8J-35 at over 200 kilometers, whereas the reverse detection range might shrink into tens of kilometers. Still, compared to legacy Su-30s or J-10s with RCS values above one square meter, the J-35 is a quantum leap forward for the PLA. Stealth isn't just radar invisibility. Infrared signature matters too. The F-22's flat nozzle exhaust and mixed-flow cooling scheme disperse heat, making its IR hotspot comparable to a barge on the ocean. The F-35 uses heat-resistant coatings and serrated nozzle pedals to chip away at its visible plume. The J-35's twin WS-19 engines, each producing roughly 33,000 lbf of thrust, appear to employ conventional round exhausts without advanced IR masking. That means higher IR contrast, especially from behind, potentially exposing it to IR-guided missiles like the AM, 9X, or PL-10 in close engagements. In an age when IRSD turrets can track minute thermal cues, this disadvantage could prove decisive at short ranges. Electronic emissions are stealth's final frontier. 
Both U.S. jets boast integrated ASA radars with low probability of intercept modes, plus sophisticated EW suites that let pilots scan without lighting up on enemy displays. The J-35 reportedly carries China's homegrown ASA radar and an onboard electronic warfare system, but data fusion maturity lags. Without years of combat feedback, automated threat library updates, and hardened cybersecurity patches, Chinese emissions controls remain untested under sophisticated jamming or spoofing. Under the skin, thrust to weight and endurance shape true performance. The F-22's twin Pratt and Whitney F-119 engines supercruise at Mach 1.5 plus without afterburners, blending speed and fuel efficiency. The F-35's single F-135 delivers massive raw thrust, about 43,000 lbf, but Supercruise is limited to around Mach 1.2. The J-35's WS-19's promise Mach 1.8 dash speeds, but real Supercruise data is scarce. More importantly, China's engine programs historically achieve lower mean time between overhauls than U.S. peers, meaning more frequent maintenance and lower sortie generation rates. If a U.S. squadron averages 20 sorties per jet per month, a J-35 unit might only manage half that, impacting sustained operations in a crisis. Combat radius and payload also weigh in. The F-22 cruises roughly 460 NMI in air dominance mode. The F-35A up to 600 NMI and the F-35C around 650 NMI. The J-35 claims a ferry range exceeding 1,200 NMI and an internal combat radius near 550 NMI, courtesy of larger internal fuel tanks. Loadout flexibility shines. Up to 4 PL, 15 beyond visual range missiles plus 2 PL 10s inside bays, with optional external pylons for heavier strike packages. In naval roles, internal carriage of YJ, 12 supersonic anti-ship missiles gives the J-35 an anti-surface punch that even the F-35 struggles to match without sacrificing stealth. Picture this, two scenarios, first the Taiwan Strait, China's 8-2-AD network, layered across its artificial island chain, combines land-based radars, long-range SAM batteries, maritime patrol drones, and integrated missile cells to create a dome reaching 1,200 kilometers offshore. J-35 CS aboard carriers like the Fujian could patrol just outside that dome, using ASA radars to QPL 15s at escorting F-35 BS or F-16 versus covering Taiwan. A single salvo of PL 15s launched at 150 kilometers could force US F 35s to turn defensive, scrambling to intercept while losing the initiative. Meanwhile, J 35, as on inland airbases, reinforce that dome, hitting ground radar nodes or airborne tankers trying to refuel US jets. Taiwan would be squeezed between land based PLA fighters and carrier wings, stretching its air defenses thin. Next, the South China Sea. China's string of militarized features, reefs, shoals, and reclaimed islands, acts as forward outposts, equipping these with mobile J-35 detachments plus shore-based IRSD towers allows hunter-killer pairs. A J-35 spots a U.S. destroyer's thermal signature at dawn, relays coordinates to a nearby missile corvette, and simultaneously launches a YJ-12 at Mach 3. In response, U.S. carrier strike groups rely on F-35CS to suppress those corvettes and protect escorts, redirecting mission priority from offensive strikes to defensive screens. The back and forth of detection, jamming, missile launches, and evasive maneuvers becomes a deadly game of electronic cat and mouse. Zooming out, the global chessboard shifts to American allies, Japan, South Korea, Australia, already operate the F-35 under a unified logistics and training framework. Their pilots fly together in red flag style drills, share threat libraries, and scout emerging Chinese tactics. China hopes to fracture this cohesion by exporting the J-35 to Pakistan, Egypt, or Indonesia, bundling jets with port access deals under its belt and road financing. A Pakistani J-35 squadron based at Gwadar, conducting joint drills with planned assets in the Arabian Sea, introduces a new layer of complexity for U.S. Fifth Fleet planners. Meanwhile, Indonesia could deploy J-35s to Natuna and Sulawesi, challenging both Singapore's RSAF F-15s and Australia's Darwin-based mobility forces. Price tags deepen the dilemma. A J-35 
35 reportedly costs $60 to $90 million a piece, undercutting F-35, a procurement cost of $80 to $100 million, and the discontinued F-22's $150 million flyaway cost. For budget-constrained air forces, the J-35 represents stealth at a bargain. No congressional restrictions, no policy strings, and no limits on mission sets. China sweetens sales with infrastructure upgrades, airfield construction, radar arrays, maintenance training, ensuring long-term influence that extends beyond mere hardware.